Oh, oh, oh. What'd you get? What'd you get? Oh. It says, I'm at the shop by myself today. You guys can stop by. And then an address. That's pretty close to here. It's ten, really? That's like 10 minutes from here. Oh, Are wow. you serious? So this whole time yeah. he's been 10 minutes away? That really that's upsets real. me. That's wrong, Mike. Hello? Hey, Trina. Should we call you Trina or Shawnice? You can call me Trina the Natural. Trina, okay, the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Why don't you just tell me a little bit more about your relationship with Scorpio? We met on MySpace. We've been talking for about a year now. In this type of work field, I'm always judged at what I do. So it's like I can't really find true love, and I found it in him. <laughs> I have found. Scorpio talks to me like a man should talk to a woman. He respects me. He doesn't judge me. If I need to talk or advice, he gives it. Do you think this guy could really be the next love of your life? Yes, I really do. He has said the L word, love. From what I can see, you're a beautiful woman. You must have people asking you out, but you haven't found someone who you feel anything for. I'm saving myself for Scorpio. I'm so close, but I'm not there yet. I mean, obviously, it's a little strange that every time you bring up meeting, he finds an excuse. That's the scary part. Don't you guys think it's uh, High time. a year? I am saving myself a year. I mean, I'd love to take you to Atlanta for the first time, and introduce you to the love of your life. That would be so awesome. <laughs> We're gonna hit the road. Okay, thank you. What a delightful, beautiful young lady. I really hope we can help her. Hello? Yeah, hi, this is uh, Neve. Who am I speaking with? Uh, this is who? This is uh, Neve. I'm a friend of Trina's. Your friend of Trina's? Okay, yeah. Can I help you with? So this is Lee, a.k.a. Scorpio. Yeah. I met Trina this week, actually. She reached out um, to me because I'm making a documentary TV series about people who are in online relationships. Okay. I've been here with Trina, and she really, really cares about you. Tell me a little bit about yourself and your relationship with Trina. I met an old man, and I think she's cool. Trina was telling me that you have some kids. Yeah, I do. Three girls and a boy. Wow, you've, so you have four kids, three girls and a boy, wow. And they all live, I guess, near you in Atlanta. Well, I'm actually not in Atlanta anymore. Oh, where do you live now? I live in the back to the Maryland area. Been here in about, about a month. Trina didn't mention that to us. Does she know that you are living back in Maryland? I thought I mentioned it to her, but I'm not sure if she knows or not. That would be something that she wouldn't quickly forget. I mean... She probably doesn't know, man. The main reason that I'm calling is uh -huh. because I think she needs to see your face um, so that she knows if what she feels is real and if she should keep, you know, loving you. I, I, I really care for Trina, it's just that I'm always traveling. Well, I'm not looking for a lot of time. You owe it to her to, if you're in Maryland, for God's sakes, I mean, to just see her. And if you love her, you need to show her that. Are you making me, like, walk away if I don't? Well, I think... I don't know. I, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking on it. I gotta think about it. I know I'm gonna be out of town this weekend. That's a tough one. I don't know how much longer you can keep her you know, on the hook. I think about, I think about that a lot, too. Up to I, I, I thought about it. I, I think I'll, I'll, I'll give it a shot, because I don't want her to walk out of my life. And, you know, I wouldn't be good, you know what I mean? You know, who knows? Right, and I see the, you know... I might walk down the aisle one day, and I'll be thinking about that for the rest of my life. Do you think it's okay if we come meet you at your place? Yeah, yeah, that'd be fine. You know, let me talk to Trina, and we'll take it from there. Okay. See you soon. This isn't far at all. Ooh, it's ticking. I am a little scared, though. <laughs> Goodness. So tell me now, baby. Tell me pretty baby where you've been. Okay. Tell me when. 
Now. Now? Now. All right. While my energy she is pumping, now. now. <laughs> this is, okay. This is it. Neve, I'm looking for Lee. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh uh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking for Lee. Oh hey, what's up, man? Is that you? That's that's me. What's, what's yeah, up? it's Neve. Yeah, how's it going, Neve? Yeah, man, how how are you? I'm doing alright. How are you doing? Pretty good. Oh, well. Uh I obviously uh you know what we're doing here. Okay, yeah. Which is introducing you to uh Trina. Hi. Hello, how you doing? Hi. How are you? I'm Lee. Scorpio? Yeah. So, everything was a lie, basically? No, 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 not exactly. I know the profile, it wasn't me, but, you know, everything else was real. You know, I'm still the same person. It's just that, you know, the only part that wasn't true was the whole male dancer thing and, you know, having six-pack abs and all that. You know, I'm not, I mean, apparently, you know, I'm not six-pack <laughs> abs or anything. How old are you? Honestly, I'm, I'm not. 27, I'm 32. I'm 24. <laughs> wow. I wish I would have met you as me, but you know, I had that profile up. Do you have kids? Yeah, I do have kids. Four kids? Yeah, four kids. I, 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 you I, told me yeah, that. I just, yeah. We weren't sure, because you told her you had two. Yeah. <laughs> I have like a little company where I help people get gigs, like uh, modeling and acting and stuff like that. I got the pictures from a guy who was looking to do some acting. Larry Drummer. Right. He contacted you? Yeah. Initially, just want to get some feedback from different women. You know, say, OK, this guy have the look or whatever. And um. you found me. <laughs> I thought you were like the most beautiful woman I've ever laid my eyes on. You look better in person than in the pictures. Um, I don't know, I just wanted to get to know you, and I thought, you know, I'm not sure what I was thinking. I know that wasn't the right thing to do. I just feel like I gave you the real me, and I just been misled, you know? And it really hurts, you know? Well, that, I mean, that's, that's the last thing I wanted to do was hurt you. I fell in love with you, like, you know? I got so tangled up in it, it was just like, how can I come out and tell you the truth? without hurting you. That's that's what I was like really afraid of. It's too late for that now. <laughs> I'm already hurt. I know I'm shooting for a long shot here, but if there's any way I can like make it up. Are you in a relationship with someone else? No, I'm not. I, you know, I, I was, you know, I was actually in a relationship with uh, Trina. OK, can we just? Can you give us a minute? Okay. Just to have a quick chat over here. Right. And we'll, we'll come back in a second. Okay. <sighs> wow. <sighs> so where do we go from here? I go where you feel like you need to go. I mean, I don't want to lose, you know, somebody that could have really cared about me, you know? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's clear that he cares about you but it still was real for you and it's my heart. Oh, I don't know how to, I don't know how to, I don't know how to deal with this right now. Hey, what's up? How are you doing? We're good. We just saw your video message and we're in Virginia Beach right now already. Oh, for real? Yeah, we just finished filming an episode here. Oh, that's cool. All right, so what do you do in Virginia Beach? I'm starting school to be an RN. I want to travel and help people around, like, the United States and maybe, like, out of the country. Do you live, like, in Virginia Beach proper or sort of somewhere kind of near Virginia Beach? Well, I actually stay with my best friend, Dominique, and her mom in the Pembroke area. So what's the deal? So you met Charles on Plenty of Fish? I met Charles on POF about three years ago. He lives in Orlando. He messaged me first, and we just kind of connected and vibed a little bit. And I started to, like, catch feelings for him. We only messaged most of the time. We had, 
have like one phone conversation in the beginning of a, our relationship. Have you tried to talk to him since then on the phone? I asked him because he called me, but he messaged me. And the number that I have, it doesn't work anymore. That's why I'm coming to you guys for a little help. And how old is Charles? He's 23. And what does he do? Well, he told me he was in the Navy, but I investigated a little and asked one of my Navy friends, and my friend told me he was wearing an Army uniform instead of a Navy uniform. Well, that's a pretty basic mistake. Yes. Do you have a feeling that he's lying to you about other things? Um, I have a suspicion that maybe he's, like, married or, like, have a child and that he's just not trying to, like, kill me at the time. That would sort of be a deal breaker, wouldn't it? It would be. A kid, maybe not as much, because I'm serious about him. I even thought about moving to Florida. All right, so we should just come meet you, because we're here. That's right, you gotta, you gotta get better at not talking to people through your phone and, and meeting them in person. Right. Okay, I am tired of talking on the phone and messaging. You can come to my house if you would like. Sorry, we can't. We can't. Yeah, I can't make it. Sorry. <laughs> we're busy. Well, I've got, we're, we're stationed in, uh, in yeah, Orlando. Oh, they're calling us now. All aboard! <laughs> <laughs> Text us your address and we'll head over. Bye, Chelsea. Bye. Oh, man. She talked to him once a year and a half oh. ago on the phone. Probably wasn't even him. Right. Oh, well, let's go. All right. Let's, let's well, help this la far. little lady. Hello. Hello. How you doing? All right. We found some things. We did. So hold on to your hat. OK. We started with his phone number. According to this, it's a text app. OK. You know about those, right? Yeah. How does he not have a phone? Exactly. It's weird. So then we went and we got all the pictures off his Instagram, and we did searches, OK? And we didn't find anything. We did notice that your friend, Damo, likes all, a lot of his pictures. I didn't know she followed him. You didn't? No, I didn't. Well, he, she follows him and he follows her. Kind of weird. They do follow each other. She knows Maybe about she him. Maybe she's trying to do her own little investigation, just not tell me. Maybe. It could mean nothing, or there could be something there. Mm. Have you talked yeah. about him a lot to her? Only like when like he doesn't call or stuff, and so I want to like get her side of like what she would do or something. Have you shown I mean, her his Instagram? She probably seen my, well, when I was on my phone and I like his, prob she'll probably like look over at my phone. She does that a lot. Okay. Anyway, so we went to her Instagram just to check her out. She's very pretty. She does post a lot of pictures. Uh, selfies. Right. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Sultry selfies. She loves selfies. So, we looked at the info that you gave us. We found his Plenty of Fish account. So we clicked on it. His account is still active. So then we just thought, okay, this picture, that's a young man whose last name is clearly Vaughn. So this is where it gets interesting. The next thing we did was a Facebook search for Vaughn US Army. And we saw this, Jaleel Vaughn. Mm. Okay, that's kind of disturbing. So this is the guy in the pictures. He's in the army. He's in the army. We FaceTimed. We took a screenshot to show you. We asked him if he has ever talked to or knows anyone named Chelsea. He told us no. He's had people make fake profiles of him in the past. To everyone that loves There's the picture that you saw. There's another picture that you saw. So we know for sure that whoever you're talking to has been lying about the pictures. I wasted a year and a half on somebody who's fake. <sighs> I can't trust anybody. Then today, I wake up and I have a DM from someone named <laughs> Light Skin Bruh. And the message just said, hey, I'm trying to reach Neven Max. I need to talk to you. It's about Chelsea. Please call me. And then a phone number. Do you know that number? No. Well, we called, and they didn't answer. But there's a voicemail, so l let's call again. And you can hear the voice, or maybe they'll answer. Yeah, I'm sort of right now, leave a message. 
That's the voice that was that called me. Really? That's the same voice? Yeah. So that's First what Charles sounded like that one time you talked to him? Yeah. OK. That would mean that somehow Charles found out we were asking around and reached out. Now at least it would appear that we have an actual phone number for Charles. Oh, oh, oh. He just texted finally. Hi, sorry. I'm having issues with my headset. Who's this? I mean, this could be him. Who else would send me such a cryptic message? message? We need to talk. He said, can we just meet in person? Yeah. That would be great. Where can we meet? Doesn't sound like your ex-boyfriend. I don't know. I wouldn't think he would do something like this, though, just to get back with me. Like, that's a little crazy. Well, he might do it to keep you from dating right. anybody else. Keep you under his thumb. Mm. Oh, oh. Come to my place, <laughs> court, you know? Wasn't he supposed to be in Florida? He, exactly. So he's been here maybe this whole time? OK. We will head over right now. See you soon. All right, well, we got a break, finally. I think we should go. All right. All right. 10 minutes. It's not far from here at all. I'm nervous. <laughs> You're nervous? Yeah. I feel like the guy we're meeting, or whoever we're meeting right now, is Charles. Yeah, because the way he was texting you, like, if I asked to call, that's something Charles will say, like. That's true. He's given some pretty bogus excuses. But we don't know anything. This could be a friend of the catfish. It could be an accomplice of the catfish. It could be the catfish. I feel like it's the catfish. <laughs> Well, we're about to find out, so. Whoa, there's a dude right there. You know that guy? I've seen him before. Really? Yeah. Where have yeah. you seen him? His brother used to go to school with me, but I've seen him like around like, this, this the... neighborhood. All right. Uh, let's go see what he has to say. Hey, what's up, man? What's going on? How you doing? I'm all right. I'm Neve. I'm Chad. Chad. Yeah. Cool. All right, well, this is Chelsea, and this is Max. Hello, how you doing? Hey. We're not really sure... What's going on? What's up? You recognize the voice, don't you? Yeah. So... Well, I'm not Charles. <laughs> OK, so you're not No, I'm not Chelsea Charles. Talking, yeah. No. So you were the voice yeah. of Charles? Yes, I was. You were? I was. Wait, a year and a half ago? Yeah. You were on the phone yes. with Chelsea? Yes, I was. I'm sorry about that, too. Why couldn't he talk on the phone himself? I don't know. I, I don't know what was the reason. He was like, do this big favor for me. I got you. And I did it. I told him to come clean, and he just went crazy and just Went that way. Wait, who, was I texting with you? Yeah, you was texting with me. What made you reach out to me? Did you know that we were message. here because of this, or did you just? No. Hey, I just I just hit the message up and just be like, need help. Right. Because I feel like it needs to come out. So did he know you messaged me? Mm-hmm. He was here. OK, so you invited him over. Mm-hmm. And then you told him, mm -hmm. and then he left. That's right. Did he say he was going somewhere? No. This painting went that way. I. It took like a lot. Like just now, or like no, it was like, oh. like maybe like five, six minutes ago. On Drive foot. Back. Yeah. He was on foot. Whatever's going on, that's between them. I just did that one favor. And that was it. Well, oh. you're covering for him, obviously. Yeah. Your friends. Friends. Charlie friends. Is right. it someone that she already knows? You just got to go see. You got to go see. Look, um, let's just let's Why don't just we go. just go see if he's over there? Yeah. If not, we know we're going to come back. You. I'm right here. Because right. it's definitely not you. No, it's not. I'm going to steal right here. You want to see? All right. All right. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Let's see if we can find this guy. Going in blind. Do you buy his story? Something's definitely up. Well, we don't even know who we're looking for. What the is going on here? Who's that? Do you know this person? Is that who we're looking for? I can't for? see. Hold on. Did we stab? Is that him? That's Domo. 
Oh boy. I don't know if that's who we're looking for, but I don't know why Dama would be is out there. Is that here. her? She's now looking in our direction. Let's find out what the story is. Um, Hello. What's going on? Before you get upset or anything, you know, I just want to tell you Charles isn't real. I'm Charles. I had a crush on you for like almost two years now. Um, <clears throat> I really like you. I could say I love you. I do love you. But no, I don't want to seem crazy or anything. Why did you keep it going so long? Because I was scared. I felt more comfortable being portraying this guy that I know you like, is know is your type. And he replied back to him. And, you know, it That's just some up. Um, I'm telling you now to get it off my chest. I want to see if we can move on to be more than friends. I just want to clarify. In the very beginning, you made the profile. You found photos of Jaleel. Do you know who, that guy? I, or I don't know him. Just a random guy. Yeah. OK. So you made the Napoleon Fish account. You searched. You, what, you found her profile, yeah, and you and messaged. I said, yeah. OK, got it. And who, who does know about this? Does anybody else know about uh, this? The only person I let know was Chad, because right. he was like, I just need you to do this favor for me. He was like, I got you, sis. I had to make at least one call to make it seem like he was a person. Right. When you first made the Plenty of Fish account, what was the plan? Did I you have? I was just like, you know, trying to get a better, more intimate feeling with her, like get closer, like more than a friend like type of way, you know? Did you ever try to come clean, or did you have a plan on how that was going to go? I thought about it, but then, like, I would always just get too scared to just be like, it's not what you think, and then I'll just never do it. It's like, I don't know, I was just scared. You're my best friend. I don't want to lose you as a friend, but I felt like if I can get Charles to make you some type of way, then I can definitely make you feel some type of way, too. This is like t too much. You shouldn't have did it this way. You came about it all wrong. Hello? Hey, Derek. How you doing, man? Pretty good. We hey. just read your email. I'm getting the impression that you move way too fast into relationships. My family's made the same observation a few times. <laughs> What's the deal with your kids? We're really close. Take them to the movies, go bowling at least every week. So, OK, you've had some bad luck with girls in the past, but Something about Kristen's obviously different. She babysits for a living, so I know she works well with kids. And that's the first thing I look for. We talk every day. Every time I hear your voice, it pulls me through the silence. She supports me in everything, and I'd love for her to be able to support me like in person. You are my planet, and I am that relation that I felt when I was getting married is nothing to compare to the way I feel about her. Wow. Why haven't you met already? I would love to meet. It's just there's always, like, something going on. Like, the family she is always either going out of town, she's got to stay with the kids. There's always kids around. And it's like, hang on, do you not get days off? And, I mean, I don't want to just come out and be like, so are you lying to me? I, I just want to get it started. I don't want to wait another year and find out that there's something wrong with this. It's amazing that you're still looking for love. I mean, you're an incredible guy, and I love it. I want to be there for it. Awesome. Let's get crazy. <laughs> All right, buddy. Excited to meet you. That's not your average run of bad luck. Right. That's a rain cloud. The forecast doesn't look too sunny for this guy. Derek's a super romantic. He blindly falls in love and follows his heart. He's a good guy. He's just doesn't do a very good job protecting himself. His heart is on the line. Again, let's get real with this nope. guy. How you feeling? Scared knowing you guys are coming. I was uh, writing the email yesterday to you guys. That was the first time I'd actually like typed her number out, except for the one time into my phone. And it matched the same area code as my grandmother's cell phone. Hmm. Which is a Michigan number. Yes, it is a Michigan area code. If she does live in Michigan, nearby, it means meeting her is a lot easier. I don't understand why she'd keep a story going rather than just being like, hey, this is where I'm at. 
I just want to take things like over the phone slow and it's, I would have been fine with that rather than she's here and she just doesn't want to meet me. More interestingly, it's registered under this name, Chastity Nonea. There is no record anywhere on the internet for someone by this name. Do you know that name? Mm -hmm. We went to Kristen's Facebook page, but look at the URL. Facebook.com slash Trisha.ward. The girl you're talking to is almost definitely not named Kristen and might be named Trisha Ward or Chastity. There's actually a number of girls on Facebook named Trisha Ward. But as we were scrolling through, this one caught our eye because her name is Trisha Ward and she lives in Detroit, Michigan. She's married and has kids. Two kids. You said that there were always kids around when you called. <sighs> you don't know that woman, do you? Mm hmm. What would it mean for you if it turned out you were talking to a woman who was married? I wouldn't be talking to her. I know what the other guys on the other side of the relationships did to me. There's no way I'd do that to somebody. That's a scary thought. I kind of just want to get this over with now and be like, OK, who the hell are you? And why have you been doing this to me? We can try to arrange meeting up with her. If she is, in fact, in Michigan, it shouldn't be that hard. I'm going to go call her right now, and we'll see how it goes. Hello. Hello, is this uh, Kristen? Yeah. This is Neve from the MTV show Catfish. Catfish show. How you feeling? I guess I'll get ready to fall apart again. I'm currently in Detroit with a young man named Derek, who you're obviously friends with. Yes. Derek reached out to me because He'd like to meet you. I guess the real question is, are your feelings for Derek sincere and how serious are they? Yeah, I care about him for a lot. Like, I would love for like, our relationship to grow, but at this time, there's a lot more going on in my life than he knows about. So I'm going to have to think about everything and start to turn. It hurts. I mean, I can. I can feel it, like, in my chest, like, there's an actual pain there, and it's... Just so you know, we're under the impression that you do live in Michigan, uh, and that you I don't... I do live in Michigan. I want you to remember that there's a guy here who has been through a lot, but he's a caring, loving, wonderful guy. I have to get back to babysitting, so... Okay, well, I, I only need, like, another minute. We'll talk about it tomorrow, okay? 10 minutes out. How you doing, man? I don't even know if there's, like, if she has a connection with me or if I just have a connection with an entirely fake person. Is this that? I think it is. This is what my, this is what the GPS is saying. I'm just scared to get out of this car right now. What are you afraid of? I'm afraid that I don't know enough. Seatbelt's coming on. Okay, I guess we'll hang here. I'm Neve. Chastity. Chastity. Hi. We, we thought that might be your name. Derek, this is 
Chastity. Hi. Hi. Chastity, this is Derek. So you're not married then? Not married. Do you have kids of your own then? I have two. <sighs> Do you have any real feelings for me or? Yeah, none of it was fake. None of it? Except At all? my page. <laughs> but there's a lot more behind that than just you. When we looked up your phone number, the number was listed under Chastity Nunea or Nonaya? Nanya. Nanya? Is that your last name? No. When I call people, I don't want them to know my last name. So it's more like Chastity Nanya business, you know, like. Nanya. Is this where you live? This is where I grew up. This is my grandparents' house. I don't want the kids involved. I don't want my exes to know where I live, obviously. Trisha Ward, where did that come from? It was just a random made up name. Why'd you go from Trisha Ward from Michigan to Kristen Who from Tampa? Guys were trying to hang out with me left and right, and I was like, oh, hey, I just moved to Florida. Sorry, I can't hang out with you. I backed away from all the other guys, but obviously with Derek, there was something different. He has kids, he's good with kids. He doesn't judge me, so hopefully he's not gonna judge me now, because I'm still the same person. I liked you because you didn't lie to me. You told me things. This is the biggest lie I think anybody's ever really told to me. You needed friends. You wanted to have people actively communicating with you. But then you guys started talking. Why not then say, hey, I have to tell you something. I know, but and I And then you could have explained to him of... the reason you have this profile is to protect your children, at which point I think you probably would have understood. Um because I thought maybe that would be a little weird. <laughs> that would be a little weird. This is really weird. I don't know. I didn't want anyone else to find out. Who do you think I'm going to tell if you're the one that starts talking to me? I mean, you could have been mad and posted it on the page or... Even after you got to know me and know that that's not something I would do, you still didn't say anything. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't want you to get hurt. I would have preferred like I wasn't that ready to the stress of all of this over the last two days. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. It hurts. Oh, my first love. Dear Naven Max, my name is Tiana. I'm 21 years old and I live in Charlotte, North Carolina. I've been dating a guy named James. We met on MySpace about three years Time ago. Time out. I know. MySpace was defunct it's three still years thing, ago. Max. James is 24 years old and lives in Statesville, North Carolina, where he works as a mechanic. Wait, so she lives in Charlotte, and he lives in Statesville. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Same. They're both in North Carolina. <laughs> in the beginning, everything seemed perfect. When we first exchanged numbers, I was living in Washington State, so I wasn't really worried about seeing him since we were so far apart. The thing that draws me to James the most is his personality. If it took a thousand miles, I'd walk them to find your smile. He always knows the right thing to say, and he really wants to know everything about me. The more he and I talked and texted, the more we started falling in love. And you make me sing, make me dance. He is my first and only love. But it's getting harder and harder to love someone I've only spoken to on the phone. I tried to video chat with James to no avail, and our lack of funds was keeping us from meeting. About eight months ago, I shared with James I had family in Charlotte and told him I was thinking about moving back. James was very happy and told me he thought that we could find an apartment and talk about marriage. Wow. So a few months ago, I moved to Charlotte. I've been here five months now, and we've yet to meet. I've made dates for us, and he never shows up. He's hiding something from me. I just don't know what. I don't want to give up on the only love I've ever known, Tiana. How far is Charlotte from Statesville? Do a maps. 45 minutes away. Oh, man. Hey. Hello. Hey. How you doing? I'm fine. I'm nervous. Because of James, or are you nervous because you're on yeah. camera? 
I'm talking to you guys. Do you watch the show? Yeah, I just watched it last night. Oh, what'd you think? It was funny when you, um, I forgot who said that they were being replaced. I think it was you. Neve Max. Which one of you guys are Neve and Max? Are you serious? Are you Neve? And that's Max, right? I'm Max. Yeah, so I got it right. I was right. Tiana. I'm Neve. So you were wrong. Oh my God, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> it's okay, don't worry about it. So, how is everything? What's going on? Um, not too good. It's about James, who I've been dating for about three years. And we met on MySpace. He asked me what's up, what I'm doing. And I had just had a baby. Her name is Journey. She's three years old. And is she with you in Charlotte? Yes. Her father is not in her life at all. So I'm basically raising her alone. So walk us through the way it started with this guy, James. Just had a baby. I was on MySpace. We exchanged numbers, and we started talking. Probably like a month in, he sent me his first picture. I liked it. After that, he asked me to be with him. And you haven't been dating anybody else, right? Correct. I done put three years in this, like three years. Over the last few years, you've also asked him to like video chat. I asked him to Skype me. And he was like, he got a raggedy camera. I was like, okay, whatever. Like, I'm really, really good right. fed up. You went as far to move to the same state he's in and he still can't meet up with you. Yeah, he was excited. We talked about a future, maybe moving in together. But when I got there, he just keep making excuses on why he can't see me, and I don't, I don't know why. What is it about this guy that makes you yeah. stay with him after everything that you've been through now? He's good to talk to, and he can handle me. Like, when I'm mad, he talks me through it, because I have a very bad attitude. He talked me through and get me out of the little petty stage that I'm in, which a lot of people can't. Has James expressed interest in, like, being a dad to Journey? Oh, he don't, he don't know I have a daughter. He told me he didn't like kids. So you've been keeping a really big secret from him. I'm scared to tell him because he don't like kids. How could you want to be with a guy that doesn't like or want kids? By the time we caught feelings, I was in too deep. He already loves me, so of course, I would think he would love my daughter once we meet in person. So that's why I need you guys help. So. You've moved across the entire country for this guy. You've put three years into this. I don't know what his secret is, but when you tell him your secret, I mean, this should be interesting. Yeah, I'm definitely ready. All right, we're coming to Charlotte. Okay, that's great. Me, Matt. Bye, Bye Tiana. Tiana. See you soon. Bye. Yes, hi, is this uh, James? Hey man, uh, my name is Neve. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard of a show on MTV called Catfish, uh, but I'm that guy from the show. Yeah, you uh, know. Yeah, so I got your number from Tiana, who I understand you've been talking to for a little while, and she called us because she wanted to finally meet up with you after all these years, and was hopeful that we could help make that happen. I'm at work right this moment, man. You might have to call me back. Okay, well, I don't need a lot of time right now. I'm just calling because you found out that the guy in the pictures you're sending is actually um, some guy named Gregory, who's like a recording artist. So, you know, I just want you to know that Tiana still wants to meet you. We were trying to hopefully meet up with you tomorrow. So is there a chance that that could happen? Yeah, it's possible. You've told her that a few times before in the past, and then you haven't showed up, and I don't want to... I don't want to put her through that again. Uh, yeah, I don't want to hurt her either. I care for her, so. Well, if you do, yeah, anymore. if you do care for her, the right thing to do is to meet up with her. All right. All right, see ya. All right. Here's what's up. James says he's going to meet you. Now, I don't necessarily know if that's true or not, but maybe now that we're here, we can make this happen. Oh. How many times has he said he'll meet up with you before and then not yeah, done it? Uh, yeah. And I think Aisha, you are as close and involved as anybody else. You know more than any other friends, your sister, anybody. So it feels to me you should come along with us. I want to. Yeah. I would love to come because I want to see who he is. I'll text him today. I'll get him to commit to something for tomorrow. Sounds like a plan. Yeah. He's not getting away this time. All 
right. Hello. Oh, hi. Hi, I'm hi. Max. Hi, Rex Max. is over. I know who you are. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Camera. Camera. Did you guys bring Christina up to speed with everything that we found out yesterday? Yeah. Yeah. She was all confused because I was just upset. What were you feeling mostly? Like my life, my time wasted. Like, it's time to get real answers. It's never been long enough. So let's text this guy. She wants to see. And uh, let him know we're ready to go. Okay. Okay, it's Neiman Max. We're here with Tiana and are ready to meet you now. Thanks. To the point. Yeah. <laughs> Short and sweet. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. What'd you get? What'd you get? Oh. It says, I'm at the shop by myself today. You guys can stop by. And then an address. That's pretty close to here. It's ten, really? That's like 10 minutes from here. Oh, Are wow. you serious? So this whole time yeah. he's been 10 minutes away? That really that's upsets real. me. That's wrong, Like I don't want to wait yeah, too long go. and you have him change his mind. Hi, Mom. I'll be right back, OK? We're here. Well, this is the street. Ooh. So yeah, it's going to be right around here. Mm, 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 mm. Really? Yeah. Have you been here before? It, it feels so familiar. Why does this feel familiar? Well, that looks like a shop, right? Oh, my God. What? This is Ricky G's shop. Ricky G raps, and he's my baby daddy's cousin. He works here. In this shop? In this shop, yes. I know it was familiar because I remember bringing my, my kid's dad here. There's someone in there. I can see someone. The garage is like half open. Yeah, there's definitely someone in there. You don't know this guy, Ricky G? I don't know Ricky G. You know in the morning, he does a song for the radio in the morning. So it would make sense that Ricky G knows. A rapper. Yeah, Tipsy Twist or whatever. It sense would make that sense, they have a connection. yeah, because he, he raps. Wow. Wow. All right, well, let's do it then. It's crazy that you say you've been here. Like, oh my God, just don't be scared. <laughs> here, I'm in there. Got some power tools. Mm. Stay open minded. Hello. What's up? Hey, man. What the f Are you serious? What? Trez, really? You been behind this the whole time? Why y'all bring her? Wait, who is Trez? That's my baby daddy. It what you no mean, way. who is that? I ain't no way. How the f could you do this to me? Oh, uh, that's no. Trez! No, are y'all in on this? What you mean, in on what? You really think I'm finna set you up like that? What the f Oh, somebody you already know I don't even do like this. No, Clearly, this is no, not no, something that no you way guys that were be <laughs> in on no. together. So let's not let this get between you guys. No, hey. it, it's going to be between us. Because how does who is Trez? Well, she, you don't know this guy, but apparently they had a kid together. So you have a child. Yeah. Wow. Man, I'm through with this. Wow. I don't want nothing else to do with this. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. That was messy. Why y'all bring my baby to mama, man? The whole time he been doing it to her. I had no idea that that was what was happening here. Hold, hold on a second. That's like, I really don't believe that it. So obviously this is this awkward, turning into a much bigger situation than we could have anticipated. So that's Aisha's. I'm going to go talk to Aisha. Yeah, let's figure this out. The whole time. The whole time. You sat there and you lied to her. And then when it come to me getting into a relationship with somebody, you come and you run away. But you don't want me to be with nobody else but you. Hey, hold on, hold on. No, what hold do you on, mean? I need an explanation. What the Let's not make this You don't fall all my ass for friends. Called? And you done did all this. Like and then you had this lie go on for three years. It wasn't supposed to be like that. It wasn't supposed to be like that at all. What you mean it wasn't supposed to be like that, Trey? It wasn't supposed to be like that It's crazy, but I'm the one who, who's going through this, and y'all arguing. You done ran off all my ex-boyfriends. You don't want me to be with nobody but you. You got a boyfriend. Man, I'm so over this. 
I can't believe you did this to me. It wasn't man, like that. Like oh, hold on a second. Hold, hold on a second. Take me home! Why have you been talking to her with this other guy's picture for the last three years and avoiding her all this time? I met her through her. I ain't want to be like this. I ain't want it to be messy. I didn't want it to be no messy situation. Well, so you met because of Aisha, and you liked her. Yeah. But you couldn't really yeah. pursue her because of your previous yeah. relationship. Yeah. I don't even know who he is. I never we seen met, him. We met at a party about three years ago, October. And so we had it was the little Halloween party. Do you remember being here for Halloween a couple years ago? I was ago? right before I moved to Washington. We wasn't even really properly introduced, but I, you... I thought I, I kind of thought we, we liked each other. So you were you into know, her. It wasn't even supposed to be like this. I was going, I was just really just trying to holler and. <laughs> That's bull. That's really I'm sorry. bull. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wow. It who wasn't does, supposed to like... go this long. I was gonna come right out and tell you who I was. I was gonna come right out and tell you who I was off the off the bat. It didn't hurt me, cause that's my friend TT. You know what I mean? This girl don't tell me shit. I fell in love with the person she texted me on the phone and come find out it's my baby daddy. Now she looking at me like I got something to do with this. Like, come on now. You know, we brought Aisha because they're good friends. Yeah. And Aisha's sort of been there for her this whole time. Listen, man. And I understand that you, the whole reason you wanted to sort of use this fake name was to avoid exactly. this mess. But exactly. Maybe you didn't think things anyway. through. Because, I, I, I mean, eventually, anyway. she, you know, I don't, I don't she was going to find out. Yeah. I was going to tell them. I was going to tell them. It wasn't never supposed to go this far, especially when they started getting close, you know. Just, I had, seemed like I had to keep on stretching the lie out. He helps me. He takes care of my other kids that's not his. But the fact that I don't want to it's not to just no boy, this not just no boyfriend that I've been with for a year and a half. I have been dealing with this man for almost eight or nine years. Like eight Here or I nine am. Years. Hi, my daughter. He's saying he got multiple kids. He has like, eight what kind kids. Of is this? Had you ever? See, see, I feel like I owe you an apology, but at the same time, I knew nothing of this. I'm in love with who? My baby daddy. You're in love with my son's dad. <laughs>